And now an entrepreneur who's on a roll. He immigrated to the United States with little money. When he got here, he found a nation hungering for sushi. So he figured out a way to feed it, building a franchise operation that is now a multi-million dollar enterprise. His rags to riches story is tonight's How I Made My Millions. Charlotte, North Carolina, miles from the sea, is not exactly the place you'd expect to find a sushi empire. But that's exactly what you will find inside this 46,000 square foot warehouse. It's the home of Hisho Sushi, a dynamic food service and distribution company that manages 884 locations in 39 states in the District of Columbia. Don't forget your napkins, chopsticks, soy sauce. The big fish in the operation? Philip Mong, the founder and CEO of Hisho Sushi. Oh, okay. Can I test a sample? Yeah, sure. People think I'm a workaholic, but I don't feel like it's work. Whatever he's doing, he's got Hisho on a roll. I like it. Spicy. Bursting with 372 employees and more than 360 franchisees across the country. Most immigrants, like Mong himself. When I came here, I have no one to help me out, so I decided to help out the newly immigrant. So how's the training go? Before putting them behind a counter, Mong makes sure his managers and sushi chefs-to-be learn the subtleties of perfect preparation. Practice more, you will get it. All right. It's the type of specialized training he never received as a young boy, living in a country shattered by war. I was born and raised in Burma. We treat it as like a second citizen. So he set his sights on more fertile ground. I decided I'd like to come here and look for the American dream. In 1989, at the age of 22, his parents staked him to an airline ticket to Los Angeles with only $13 in his pocket and a wealth of ambition. He stayed with a friend, worked overnights at a gas station, and then became a real estate agent before landing a job with a sushi distribution company in the 1990s. He learned the business from the inside out, and after just one year, Mong and his wife moved east. They borrowed 100,000 from family and friends and took cash advances on credit cards to start their own sushi business headquartered in their home. We set an office here and with the one computer and the one tiny printer for about years before we get into the uh, former office. They partnered with local retail locations to offer fresh food daily to grocers and cafes. Then in 2002, their first big break. A partnership with Minnesota-based supermarket chain Lund Food Holdings. Together, they placed sushi kiosks in 21 locations. Three years later, Hisho was able to move into its current headquarters with a freezer that holds up to a million dollars worth of frozen product that's shipped across the country every single day. It's also the home of Hisho University, the exclusive training ground for the company's managers, chefs, and franchisees. And make sure you train your chefs to only use one ounce of rice. After finishing the program, the company partners with the trained chefs and places them in locations across the country and splits the profit three ways. The chef or franchisee, the retail landlord, and Hisho Sushi. Which one the most popular? Uh, they really love this one. The formula seems to be working big time. Company revenues were close to $100 million in 2015. That's the most beautiful sushi that I've ever seen. Philip Maw, Burmese immigrant turned sushi magnet, has clearly learned the basic lesson of American business. Listen to the customer. Do whatever it takes to make the customer happy.